So, Rylan and Haven and Lenny, um, I have a new book. It's called Grumpy Monkey. Maybe you guys know this book. I don't know if you have it or not. I haven't seen it at your house. But um, it's new for me, so I'm going to read it right now, and maybe you guys would like to read it with me. So it's called Grumpy Monkey. And I think it's a book about a grumpy monkey. Here's his banana. Maybe he lost his banana, and that's why he's grumpy. Let's see. So Grumpy Monkey by Suzanne Lang. She's the lady who wrote the book. One wonderful day, Jim Panzee. Oh, I see what they did there. His name is Jim that they called him chimpanzee like chimpanzee. That's a monkey. Chimpanzee. One day, wonderful, one wonderful day, chimpanzee woke to discover that nothing was right. The sun was too bright, and the sky was too blue, and the bananas were too sweet. How can a banana be too sweet? Jim was confused. What is going on? Maybe you're grumpy, suggested Norman from next door. Here's Norman. He lives next door. Here's Jim and here's Norman. Norman's eating bananas. I'm not grumpy, Jim insisted. Boy, he looks grumpy. And I think he is grumpy. On his walk, he met Marabou. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Marabou. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked Marabou. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. But look at how you're standing, Marabou said. It's true, said Norman. You're all hunched up. So Jim loosened up. He doesn't want to look grumpy, even though he is. Then he ran into Lemur. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Lemur. Why are you grumpy, Jim, asked Lemur. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy me, I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Your eyebrows look grumpy, said Lemur. It's true, said Norman. They're all bunched up. So Jim raised his eyebrows. He didn't want to look grumpy. <coughs> and then he tripped over Snake. Oh, no, said Norman. That's the last thing you need when you're feeling so grumpy. Grumpy me, I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Then why that frown, said Snake. I think it's because he tripped over you, Norman whispered to the snake. So Jim put on a smile. Look at his big teethy smile. Finally, Jim looked happy. Does he look happy? He's hopping around with a big smile. But he didn't feel happy inside. Sometimes you look happy, but you're not. Everyone wanted Jim to enjoy this wonderful day. You should sing with us, said the birds. But Jim didn't feel like singing. He's bugging his ears. You should swing with us, said the monkey. Jim didn't feel like swinging either. There he is. He doesn't feel like it. You should roll with us, said the zebras. Jim didn't feel like rolling. You should stroll with us, said the peacocks. But Jim didn't feel like strolling. You should lie in the grass. You should stomp your feet. You should take a bath and make a splash. You should hug someone. Oh, look at that snake. He's not hugging that rabbit. He caught that rabbit for dinner. You should hug someone. You should laugh. You should take a nap. You should eat old meat or some honey. You should jump up and down. You should sit in the sun. You should dance. Look, the porcupine wants to dance. Who wants to dance with a porcupine? Ouch. But Jim didn't feel like doing any of that. There he is. He's grumpy. Why are you grumpy, Jim? Asked the others. It's such a wonderful day. I'm not grumpy, shouted Jim as he beat his chest. I'm not grumpy. And he stomped off. Uh, here he is all by himself. Jim felt sorry. 
a little sorry for shouting at everyone, but mostly sorry for himself. I guess I am grumpy, Jim sighed. And just as he was starting to feel really sad, he came upon Norman. And Norman was slumped, his eyebrows were bunched up, and he was frowning. What's the matter? Are you grumpy? asked Jim. No, I danced with porcupine, said Norman. Look, he's got porcupine quills in his butt. <laughs> porcupine, remember porcupine wanted to dance? Norman danced with him. He got stuck. Are you okay? asked Jim. It hurts, but I'll probably feel better soon enough, said Norman. Are you still grumpy? Yes, said Jim, but I'll probably feel better soon enough, too. For now, I just need to be grumpy. Well, it's a wonderful day to be grumpy, said Norman, and Jim agreed. And he already felt a little bit better. There, Norman and Jim are friends. And they were having a bad day, but now they're sitting together and they're enjoying themselves and they're feeling better just because they're friends. The end... So, how'd you like that book? Here it says, Jim's having a very bad day. It's that picture where he's, he's storming off. He says, I am not grumpy. And he storms off. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this book. I enjoyed reading it. I thought it was a good book. And um, I'm a little grumpy, too, because I miss you guys. I don't like this virus, and we can't see each other. And I can't wait for a time when we can get together, and I can give you all a big hug. So anyway, I love you. Hope you enjoy the book and I'll see you soon. Bye.